All right, it's time to get going. Enough of the theme song. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> All right, we are going to wrap up season one of this uh, Oakland A's Utah Avengers franchise. Um, we have to sim through this season pretty fast, get the draft over with, make some trades, sign some free agents and all that good stuff. Um, so we can move the team to Utah. So today we're going to do um, August and September. I might do a few more um, player locks just to um, play with some of the more more of the uh, the guys that we're going to you know have on the team going forward. Um, and um, we have to finish off the regular season. Then we have to relocate the team, make the uniforms, and then. Um, um, get to the off season, resign the guys we intend on keeping, get rid of guys we don't want. And uh, I'm thinking we're going to sign one veteran quality starting pitcher. Um, I want to go hog wild with that. We don't have a ton of money to spend. So I'd, I'd like to get one, one guy to anchor so we can move um, the guy we got from the Astros. Um, Garcia can move him down to number two, Sears to three. And um, we need help at shortstop. Um, and we probably could use a, an everyday left fielder. We traded. Did we trade? I thought we traded. Yeah, we traded J.J. Blade and Jordan Groshans to the Cubs and got Pete Crow Armstrong. Cubs still have uh, Bellinger. So I went. To, uh, I wanted to get Pete Crow because we need his defense and his speed to play center field. Because new ballpark we're moving in is got a big center field. Um, so that 95 fielding, 97 arm, 98 speed is going to come in handy. We're going to chase some balls down in the gap. Um, let me see while we're doing this. Um, what is Pete Crow? Armstrong's preferred number is 52 with the Cubs. What did he play? That's MLB. I don't know what he did in the minors. 52 is just a bad number for him. <clears throat> Looks like he wore five. Do we have five available? I'd rather give him a low number. Five is Jacob Wilson. Let's see, what do we have single digit wise? Well, you're not going to wear number eight. Um, how about 28? Um, catchers, we got 23. No single digits there. There's nine. There's three. We have seven. A seven available. Yeah, all right. Pete Crow is going to wear number seven. So he had 52. We're going to change that to seven. <clears throat> all right. Much better. All right. So. See here, we're 50 and 60. Half game ahead of the Angels. 10 games out of the wild card. So 10 games better than the White Sox. And there's a whole log jam of teams that are in the low 60s for losses. So unless we absolutely tank down the stretch, we're not going to be picking in the top 10. <clears throat> or maybe some of these teams get out. Who knows? But anyway, that's where it is. Um, oh, we didn't see our draft picks. We had the fifth pick. And we chose the best hitter that was available at the time. But we, we could have gotten this pitcher instead. The 75 overall with 92 potential. That was our choice between the two. And he looks really good. The reason why we did not um, sign him, uh, draft him, is his his miles per hour maxes out at 90. So he's a soft-tossing lefty. So while he might be good, he's a soft-tossing lefty. And I didn't want that. So we, uh, we took Fiore, and based on his defense... Um, 
I don't think he has a fielding to play short. He can play left field. <clears throat> we do not need a first baseman. So he's probably either going to play a left field or second base. And I'm going to spend an entire year of him, at least one full year in the minors. Um, and uh, try him out at second base. Because he's only six foot, 200 pounds, so he's not 6'5 or something like that. Doesn't have a lot of speed, but... He's got really good, really good hitting. So in this ballpark, that'll be clutch. Got to work on his contact and power against righties. So I'm hoping he uh, tears up in the minor leagues. So we're, we're going to start him in double A and let him crush it. Um, it's possible he might just stay there the whole year. And then age 20, he might begin the year in triple A. And we'll see how it goes from there. If we can get him up to an 80 before we bring him up, that would be awesome. So his potential is 82, so... Maybe he gets a boost in his potential. Who knows? Maybe not. <clears throat> oh, and we did have... I thought these picks were going to be decent, but 62 stamina, 56 stamina. This guy with his 99 velocity, 97 fastball, two two different fastballs. He's going to be... These guys are going to be both in the bullpen. They're going to both bullpen guys. These guys are all be starters. and They're not great. And this guy... If uh, he ends up getting cut because we have too many players, I'm just going to let him go. I don't care. <clears throat> it was the last round, and yeah, whatever. So, all right. Contract extensions. Almost all of these guys are renewable, so I'm not really worried about it. I think Zach Jackson and Andujar, Alexander, some of these relievers are going to be regular free agents, but I'm not interested in bringing those back, so we'll see. Anyway, let's get in here and get going. Um, we're going to rip through this uh, <clears throat> regular season and get into the off season where we can start working on building the team and uh, go from there. So we'll just straight sim this game. And that guy's hurt. Yeah, whatever. All right, lost four to three. Shohei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Lost seven to five, and we get swept by the Doyers. So Hagen Smith is up for the uh, White Sox. So let's let's do a player lock. He's one of their top prospect pitchers. So player lock, <clears throat> and uh, let's do Langoliers. You can see over there we have we acquired Kobe Mayo <clears throat> from Baltimore. Um, in the uh, in spring training, gave them Zach Geloff, got Kobe Mayo, moved Westberg back to third. Hate this ballpark, so can't wait to get into our new one. I did make some changes to the park that I had uh, created for uh, when we moved to Utah. And uh, so I'll show you guys those once we move to the stadium. Um, so we're going to get through the last two months of the season, the entire offseason season. And the spring training, uh, we may or may not do some spring training games. I don't know. Um, it would help show off the uniforms. Um, and then next stream, whenever that is next week, um, we will have opening day <clears throat> for Utah. I don't know if it's home or away. We won't know until uh, we get into the, get through spring training and see the schedule. So. I did boost Hagen Smith's um, stats up a little bit because EA has an um, EA. San Diego Studios has a uh, bad habit of uh, underrating all of the uh, prospects to the point where they don't develop quick enough to replace the veterans. They should be in the mid 70s when they come up, at least. And they do not do a good job of getting them up. Oh, and he takes them deep. Major League debut, and he's down two to no, three to nothing, three to nothing. Was not in chat there. Let's do this. Adios, Pelota. Took that outside pitch and drove it. So our new ballpark in Utah is at altitude. So it's like, I don't know, three, 330-something, 
three forty something down the line. And uh, it's over. It's like four hundred, right at four hundred, just a touch over four hundred in dead center. But it's got two deeper points where the uh, left and right field walls meet the straight center field wall. And they're like 409, 412, somewhere in that range in those very deepest parts to the left and right of dead center field. So um, the ball does carry. You might see some 500-foot home runs depending on who's hitting there. Um, and I added some more. Uh... And he hits another one way off the backdrop. You may see some more. Uh... There'll be more skyline buildings. Um, I tried to... Put some light, hide some lights in the buildings back there to try and light them up at night. So, but, um, hoping you guys, uh, like the new ballpark. That was a bomb. It's nine to one. It's only in the fifth inning. I don't even pop that straight up. I hate losing all the A's uniforms, but I, I found this logo um, on the uh, logo vault and been using it for my Diamond Dynasty team all year and wanted to actually do a relocation and <clears throat> have a, a new team that we can kind of do whatever we want with. They're not tied to Oakland or the A's or any other city, and there we go. Hagen Smith got lit up. Here we go. Rosario, three hits. That's what we got him for. Rooker, two hits. Langleyers, two home runs, five RBI. Wilson hit a home run as well. Spence is 4 and 11. Pitched great. Of course, the White Sox are the worst team in the league, so it's easy to uh, pitch well against their shitty team. The White Sox were the other team we were considering doing. <clears throat> All right, and then we lose one to nothing. Really, who pitched for them? Crochet. J.P. Sears. Alvarado blew it in the ninth. Wow. Did they hit home run? No. And we win five to four. All right. At Toronto. Win four to two. Not hitting enough home runs. We got to rectify that. There's eight to two. And we win four to one. All right. Let's go to the Mets and play a player lock there. Peterson's a lefty again. Let's go with mm, let's go with Mayo. Gotta get used to hitting with this guy because we brought him in for a reason. So Rooker and Butler and Mayo are gonna be the core of the lineup in line until we add some other bats. I would love to get Langoliers down further in the uh, order because his contact rate is not that great, but he has great power. So if we could bat him like seventh, that would be awesome. And if we could get uh, Pete Crow's contact and power up so he could, you know, be at about a 280, 290 hitter with about 20 home runs with all the speed that he has, that would be excellent. There we go. Down run. Come on, dude. Don't stand there and watch it. You got to hustle to get into a double. All right. They're going to throw it over there. So that's fine. Rip that one down the line. He's a big boy. All right. Noda just got claimed by the angels. As a free agent, claimed him off waivers or whatever. It's going to be uh, bad on Nolan Shanwell for that spot or DH. All right, two on, two out, five to three lead. Ah, chased. Don't chase. Don't chase. Come on. go and get that pitch 
A little more over the plate. Three and one. It's got to come in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And is that going to be caught or off the wall? Caught. Felt like I hit it better than that. That's okay. <clears throat> and the lead is down to one run. Dead Neil Nunez. What a name. Ah, chasing shit. That might be too high. He hit it well. Right on the screws. Nope, it's gone. There we go. Went down and golfed that bad boy out. There we go. That's what I was looking for when we traded for him. We need power bats in this team. It's only his fourth home run. He's, he, he didn't get called up until right around the uh, All-Star break, so it's not like he's been up all year long. But look at this pitch. Knee high, just drops the bat head, golfs it out. All right, two on, two out in the ninth. Only a two-run lead. You got Deuces Wild going on here. Oh, cutter. Had me out in front. Brazavon with a filthy pitch there. All right, let's go. Come on. I tried to pull that. All right. Put myself in a hole. Now we just got a battle. Because <clears throat> you know if I don't drive in a run, we're going to lose this game or bullpen's going to lose it, even though we have Mason Miller. It's just how the sim goes. Oh, you didn't succeed? You lose. Just fouled that off. I normally don't stream on NFL Sundays, but I want to get this season over with so we can move on to regular episodes, and I didn't want to wait until tonight. Got to give both my dogs a bath after uh, dinner, so I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to do it late night, so we're going to get it done right now. <clears throat> well, so I'm itching to get in and get the relocation done so we can get the uniforms and created the uniform switch or the uh, the uh, ballpark there we go ballpark switched just gonna stay there and that's an rbi there we go first and third two down steel huh i don't think he's a steel dude but i'll go safe wow he gets a stolen base on a bad throw <clears throat> three and two two out pitch ball four Ooh. is that gonna bring up wilson yep all right bases loaded two out oh and one count so he's not gonna strike out on this pitch a little pop fly and got it all right so three run lead that's helpful do we hang on and win Yes. All right, Mayo, three for five with a double and a home run. Sears was not great, but he gets the win. Kind of makes up for when he pitches great and takes a loss, right? <clears throat> All right. We'll, we'll do some more uh, quicker simming here, but I wanted to uh, get through. One to nothing. Garcia. Six hitter. Kobe Mayo with another home run. We sweep the Mets on the road. Holy crap. All right. Home against the Giants, and we win. Look at that. We got a five-game winning streak. Seven of eight. Eight of ten. Taz Cameron gets hurt. He's a minor leaguer. 13 and a half out. I need to save. Haven't done that for a bit. All right. Matt Waldron. Not going to bat against the knuckleballer. And we lose two to nothing. 
All right, we're gonna play, we're gonna player lock again, not play the game, but we're going to player lock with Mr. Pete Crow. <clears throat> All right, see Langleyers with his 196 batting average, got a lot of pop. That's why I want to drop him lower in the order so his average doesn't matter as much and get some pop at the bottom half. <clears throat> All right, not coming up to bat until the second means the shadow covers that whole thing up, so you can actually see. Get down. There we go. Work that count. Get on base, we'll steal. There we go. There we go, there we go. I didn't see where the ball was. definitely score if we can drop a hit in <clears throat> come on Jacob just need a little flair nope, little numbers not gonna get it done why did he dive <laughs> that's really strange all right Butler with a home run gives us the lead ah reached out in front They have Hurston Waldrop. What trade was that with the Braves? All right, two on. Nobody out. Get down. Get down. There we go. That's a run. Get down. Dive. Safe. Yes. Got a ribby on base twice. <clears throat> Come on, Esty. Work a walk here. There we go. Base is loaded. Top of the order. <laughs> All right. We got Rosario because he's a contact king, man. He's in the high 80s and 90s. And he pops out. Not good. All right, Jacob. Do something good. Well, that's not going to be a double play, so that's going to get us a run. Now another base hit will be uh, two more runs. Come on, Rooker. Let's we'll see if he can put it over the board. <clears throat> He's going to strike out. No, he didn't. That's going to be deep and caught. Hit it hard. All right. And DeLuca hits a solo shot, so we're in the eighth with a three-run lead. Push the wrong button. I was going to bunt. I want to use his speed. We can steal some base hits bunting. Ah, hit. Nice. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Throws a curveball as I'm going to bunt, so I get hit in the chest and it's a strike. That was a totally wasted first two, hit, two, first two pitches. That was should have... I hit the uh, circle button instead of the triangle button, so instead of bunting, I swung at the pitch way early. And then when I do go to bunt, he 
It was that nasty ass slider that hits me. Come on. Leave one up in the zone for me. And we pop it up. So when we move to the new ballpark, you have to understand there's some limitations to uh, people who create their own ballparks. We can't do stuff behind home plate like they can do. We can't. There's a lot of things that we can't do that the uh, people who make this game have the ability to do. One for three of the walk and an RBI I like that. Garcia, 12 and four. That was a great trade for us. But see, that's why I want to push him down to number two and make our rotation deeper. So pitchers that are going to be available as free agents are going to be Corbin Burns, Jack Flaherty, Max Freed, and Bieber. Shane Bieber. Justin Bieber. All right. Shane Baz. <clears throat> Oh, we get the win, and then we lose. All right. Send that. Get pounded. Aaron Savali. Let's get in here. Player lock on this one, too. And we'll go with Lawrence Butler. switch over from space heater to fan because while it's only in the 60s outside this ring light right here heats it up pretty quickly my first three world series i remember watching as a kid was 72 three and four when the a's beat the reds the mets and the dodgers it was awesome that team was so good they would have won four or five in a row if their owner, Charlie Finley, wasn't such a dumbass. Get through. Get through. Nope. like how that last hop goes hard up right into the glove. It never stays low and scoots underneath. All right. Down 2 nothing. Two on, one out. Terrible swing. I mean, that's going to get caught because there's 9 million feet of foul territory in this park. How can you pay? Ah, down and now. Down 5 nothing. This game's over. Let's see if I can just have a good AB here. Is that going to be out of here or off the wall? Off the wall. In our new ballpark, that would easily be a home run. That ball would have carried. Over 400 feet. <clears throat> Come on, Shay. Let's go. Nope. I don't know why he slides headfirst into third base when there's no play on him. All right, Kobe. You're 0 for 2. See if you can get us on the board here. Nope. Oh, he does. Wow. Okay. Gotta love that. Rookie gets an RBI. And Rosario with a home run. Now it's only a three-run game. Okay. This guy throws gas. And we were tardy. So does his brother with the Mets. So again, we are going to get through the regular season, which is only two months worth, and then move the team, put them in the right ballpark, do the uniforms, and then and then uh, sign all of our guys that are renewables and sign on guys that are free agents, and then go into regular free agency and try to... Uh, improve this team a little bit. I'm not going to go hog wild. We don't have a ton of money to spend. I might make a lot more trades with this franchise than signing free agents just because of the, the cost. We don't have the uh, salary space, but I do love making trades, so we might 
I might just go ham trading wise. Ooh, painted mist. All right, this is gonna be right down the middle, so we gotta gear up for 102. <clears throat> that was filthy. When they throw 102 and follow up with that shit, it uh, <laughs> it's not fair. So, whatever, we lost. It's okay. And six different people with one hit. Sears did not pitch well. Pitched like Walmart instead of Sears. Although Sears is out of business now. Try not to sneeze, sorry. All these minor league guys getting hurt. All right, at the Reds, <clears throat> there's another lefty. Let's just sim that. Zach Jackson, one to two weeks. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Estes and Ashcraft. Let's play lock on this. And let's do Rosario because I want to know what this guy hits with. He's he's probably going to be. Lead off against righties and number two against lefties. We can play Ruiz, who crushes lefties in the leadoff spot. His average is up to 263. He was down in 230s and 240s for most of the year. So we got him to bide time until we can get a second baseman, which we did when we drafted that first baseman, and I'm going to move him to second base. So if you were like here last time and saw the draft... I'm moving Fiore to second base. He's going to have a really strong arm. His, his defense isn't the greatest. It's in the 60s, but second base, I'm not too worried. Um, but I'll have a great arm for uh, relays from right field. And uh, he crushes lefties already. Really good uh, contact discipline and clutch. Just got to get his his uh, hitting against righties up. So we're going to think, like I said, we're just going to Leave him in double A almost the whole year as a 73 and let him just kill. And then the following year, put him at triple A, and I'd like to call him up when he's like 21. Um, and he's already in like in the low 80s. So that'll give us two more years of Rosario. We got to double check his contract. And then Fiore would be ready to go. Um, after that is our everyday second baseman. Kind of a Jeff Kent type, you know, he's got good power, good plate skills, okay, nothing great defense. This guy, Jacob Wilson, I had to call him up too early because he didn't have any shortstops or the shit, so he's going back to AAA next year. I'm strongly considering... Uh, <clears throat> signing uh, Willie Adamas because he's going to be a free agent. And we could definitely use his glove and power. That's going to be the theme. Where I want strikeout pitchers and I want power hitters. So this is how I normally would put together a team. I want high strikeout pitchers and I want guys that can hit the ball out of the park because they can change the score just like that ah, pulled off <clears throat> all right let's stay in the middle and low because that's all he's been living is middle low yeah said good contact but it didn't hit very good well it's good timing not good contact but all right okay money welcome in how are you Get through, get through. Come on. There we go. I normally don't stream on Sundays during the NFL season, but it is what it is. I've got the uh, red zone over here on my computer. Got the Cowboys and the Falcons on right there. I'm playing against the dude. 
playing against a dude who has Prescott and C.D. Lamb, so I'm really hoping Dallas sucks. <laughs> no, I'd, I'm not going to move him to Vegas because everybody's moving him to Vegas in the past, and um, so we've already seen that. I wanted him to go to Utah somewhere else, mostly because I wanted them at at altitude, so we'd have like a Coors Field version in the American League. And no one's taken a team to Utah that I've seen on stream. So, uh, um, so, uh, yeah, just trying to do something different. We played last season, we did, or last, like MLB 23, last calendar year. We, uh, we played with the A's for like five years and we left them in Oakland and just put them in a new ballpark. So, they're the easiest one to move because I don't see the White Sox moving out of Chicago. Although they threatened to move to Tampa at one point back in the 80s, I think it was. <clears throat> Just like the Giants threatened to move to Toronto at one point back in the 70s. Bruce Tan from Mayo. We win 9-2. Home run by Rooker. Spence pitched well. All right. Sim, Sim, and now we got to do September call-ups. All right, 40-man, who's coming up? Yeah, let's, let's bring up Tyler Nevin. And not you, you're injured. Bring up Kyle Muller. Give us another lefty in the pen. So. All right. Noda, you're going to sit against lefties because Nevin has as good a power and much better contact. And Muller there. Yep, that's fine. All right, let's check. So we are 61 and 75. Stat-wise, Rooker at 294. Average keeps going up. Rosario, 267. Butler is closing in on 20. SD just doesn't do it as much against righties, but yeah. Langoliers, Noda, Andrew Harris, we're going to get rid of him. Wilson's going back to the minors. Sinzel is just a platoon player. Pete Crow, everyday center fielder for his defense and speed mostly. McCann, man, need to play him a little more than Langoliers. <clears throat> Let's look. Langoliers against righties. Yeah, we'll play McCann. No, it's because he's hurt. That's why. Okay. That's right, he's yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's save. Looking at my score. Did not play Drake May, and he's uh, doing well already. All right, at Texas. We'll fix home against Seattle. Let me make sure that it readjusted my lineup. Why is he playing first? That's no. Seager, wow, Seager leads in the uh, MVP race in the American League. Oh, Shohei, he already has 54 and 147. We got a month to go. 
the fuck? And he's 20 and 5 already. <laughs> Bobby Witt hitting 349. Mookie 341. Hoffman and Class A lead. Hey, Mason Miller's number two. While you're, oh, Will you're Abreu leading rookie of the year. Yamamoto leads over there. I had a guy over on YouTube who uh, likes watching my franchise stuff. A comment said I should get Tyler Fitzgerald. I think the problem is going to be, well, one, he's regressing, but I don't know why. He is only 26 and he's only played one year. Um, But as an 82, he might be hard for us to trade for, especially with the, the A's. <laughs> I don't have a deep... Um, minor league system. All right, Garcia, Estes. Yeah, Junk is going to get replaced at some point. Spence is probably... His overall has gone up. So this guy's getting replaced by a top-of-the-order pitcher. So he may shift down to five. I don't know. We'll see next year. Bullpen guys... You know, Mason's doing what he's supposed to. Yeah, we don't have enough power at all. <clears throat> Sorry, I was out for a game or two. All right, he's back. Let's do a player lock against the Tiggers. Manning's a righty. Man, let's let's try out this catcher. Check out the catcher. I cannot wait to get the off season once we can move them and do the uniform and all that stuff. But to try and <clears throat> improve this team um, via trade and free agents, that's going to be a a big chunk of the entire stream. Is going to be all the off season moves that we make. So. We may only play a lock a couple more times. I want to get to the offseason, and this will be... Hey, Butler with a three-run shot. It's going to be more of a team-building one and relocating the team. I'm not opposed to trading uh, pretty much anybody, except, like I said, other than Butler, Rooker, Mayo, Mason Miller. Um, All right, you know I can drive. Let's go. I hate this center field so much. Oakland should have made the Raiders build their own fucking stadium instead of screwing up the baseball stadium. Ooh, that might be over his head. Nope. 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 Sounded better than it actually was. All right. Can we hang on and get the dub? Yes, we do. All right. Butler with a home run. Asked this pitch well. He's 10 and 10. Mason Miller, 38 saves. Should be able to get him to 40 before we're done. Got the win. 
Anybody do any well? Rooker with another home run and four ribs. They win beat Houston. We're just killing Houston. Let's go do a player lock in this one. We have we have like dominated Houston this year for some reason. Right-handed pitcher. Yeah, let's let's. Go with Rooker. If I keep looking over there, it's because I'm looking at uh, my fantasy sports team and and the uh, ticker for, uh, for all the games. As well as the red zone. Is that red zone? Denver and Baltimore. Wanted to get this guy in the trade, but they they wanted too much, so uh, we took the other guy instead. Garcia. Is he gonna get there in time? All right, maybe we can squeak a run out here early. Corners, ninth corners, and one out. <clears throat> no, and we're down six, nothing. Wow. Not good. Get it all. Ball one. One one. Hey, no outs now. And it's going to get caught. Too much of a line drive. Houston decided to take it all out on us in one game after we shoving on them the whole season. <laughs> Almost killed our third base coach. Nine hits and six runs and two innings for Jansen Junk. His name suits his game. <clears throat> All right, at the White Sox. Lose one to nothing. Lose three to one. And we win one. JP Sears. All right, where are we at time wise? We're close to an hour. Let's go. Let's go to Chicago and play a game here. Mm -hmm. Get back to mayo. Kobe mayonnaise. All right. So we need shortstop, left field. <clears throat> And just more, and, and first base actually is a position if we could get locked down with someone, whether it's somebody on the roster already or somewhere else.
waited for it. I saw it. Still swung over it. Aha. Foul ball bullshit. God damn it. That's right. It's one of those cold, rainy days at Wrigley with the wind blowing in, so... Coming through clutch today. <clears throat> All right, we need this. We got a tying run on two outs. Ah. And we lose. No to hit home run. You guys want to see any more? You guys want to see any more player locks? You want me to just zip right through? I mean, he got swept by the Chubs, the Stankies. And we win. Let's check the uh, standings. So the Rockhounds made the playoffs, and so did the Aviators. So both our minor league teams made the playoffs. All right, let's go check stats then. So we got Emmanuel Rodriguez from the Twins. His, his overall hitting average is low, but he's got good speed power combo. Nice. He's got, he got a bunch of guys injured. Soderstrom's doing okay. Pitching wise, nothing outstanding. Bullpen. Bullpen's doing their job. Cole Wynn, we got him from uh got him from Washington, right? Why is this closer throwing 127 innings in relief? What the fuck is going on? Why is he starting? Over JT Ginn. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Imagine how much better this team would be if the closer was actually closing. All right, double A. Another. Why is this why does the computer do this? Refresh, guys. Why does it do this? Why does it put the closer in the fucking rotation? <sighs> Unbelievable. There's another reliever, Hogan Harris. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Double A. Cooper Bowman. C potential. But hitting 290. Not bad. Gray. Tommy White. He was a first round or second or second or third round pick this last year. Where is what's his face? Nick Kurtz. He was their first round pick. He's our long term solution at first, but we gotta get him going. He probably won't be up till he's twenty three. <coughs> There you go, Zach. All right. So. so they only have one game. And they got a series. Okay.
Aviators won the Pacific Coast League Championship and are going to take on the Mets or the Cubs in the AAA National Championship. All right. Beat Texas. Aviators won the AAA Championship. So our AAA team won the AAA Championship. All right. How about that? We need one more win in double A. Yep, and they're going to take on the Naturals in the Texas League Championship. All right. And we will just sim out. We win 11 to 4 on the last day of the season. Ruiz, Rooker, and Pete Crow with home runs. And our double A team has a series to go here. So we had 91 losses. Look at all those teams that are terrible. A couple of hundred lost teams over there. The Marlins. Wow. Um, it's not going to have our stats, so we'll go here. So Rooker had 30 home runs. Here, let's do it this way. Garcia was 14 and 8, 361. Sears was 11 and 10 with a 4. Estes 11 and 11 with 3.6. Spence was 6 and 17. Junk was four and six. Um, Alvarado, 204 ERA, 388, 412, 2.9. Mason Miller, end of the season with 41 saves. Four and two with 41 saves, 71 strikeouts, 56 innings with only 32 hits. And that's what we're talking about. Langoliers hit 203 with 14. McCann, 268 and 8. Noda, 306 with 12 and 11. It's a lot of steals. Rosario ended up 264, 9 home runs. Senzel, 240. Mayo, 246, 6 and 5. So that was 200 at bats. So multiply that by 3. That's like 18 home runs, roughly. So. He'll get better. Jacob Wilson hit 240. Um, missed some time with an injury. He's 22. He's probably going back to the minors next year. <clears throat> There's Rooker, 297 with 30 and 98. SD had 37 steals. Andujar was terrible. Heat Crow, got to get that batting average up. Butler, 22 and 74. There we go. So, yeah, not bad. I mean, teams got limited talent, but. All right, split that series. And can we get one more? Tommy White's hurt, but we win. So we won both double A AA and triple A with our minor league teams. That's good. That's good. That's very helpful. That'll help all of our guys uh, progress more. Success works. So let's just advance the day. Yeah. Got the Cubs and the Braves, Dodgers and Phillies, Red Sox and Yankees, Mariners and Twins. Yankees are up 2 nothing. Cubs are up 2 nothing. Cubs and Phillies win their, both their series three games to one. Oh, in the American League, they're going to a deciding game five. And Boston and Seattle. Wow. So Boston, Seattle, the Phillies, and the Cubs. Cubs are up one nothing. 1-1. One, one. Seattle's up one nothing. 1-1. One, one. Cubs are up 2-1. to one. Boston's up 2-1. to one. Cubs are up 3-1 now. 3-2. Three 2-2. Two, two and two. Three to two in both. And the Cubs and Phillies are going to a game seven. And the Phillies win. They were down three to one and came back and won. And it's Seattle and Philadelphia. Wow. 
What a World Series that is. Seattle's being carried by their pitching, that's for sure. Several days off. Seattle wins game one, game two, game three, and they sweep. The Mariners swept the Phillies. All right. All right, guys, we are done with the regular season. And now becomes the fun part. All right, our manager left, which is good. We need to get rid of him. James Paxton retired. Tyler Beatty, Carlos Carrasco, Yuli, Yuli, uh, Yuli, Gur, Yuli Guriel, if I can speak clearly. Manny Pena, Max Scherzer, Stripling, who we traded away. Charlie Morton. Lance Lynn, Matt Carpenter. Tim Anderson. Jackie Bradley Jr. All right, Scherzer makes the Hall of Fame. And these are the only two free agents that we have to worry about. Um, Alexander is regressing, so we'll just let him go, and we're not keeping him either. So we don't have to deal with those two guys. We do need a new manager. Alonzo Sosa, speed, power, case per nine, and velocity. He's a definite. Oh, that's a lot of money for a manager. He's 15. Clutch, durability, walks an arm. 13.5. Don't want any of that bunting shit. What's up, Ty Spot? How you doing, man? Welcome in. Just wrapped up the regular season, and we're trying to get a uh, a manager before we relocate the team. I don't mind getting one that has some minuses, but I don't want it to be anything that really hurts us. I'm trying to save some money here. Yeah, I don't want to spend that much money on a manager if I don't have to. Come on, HN. This guy would be okay if the walks per nine was high, but I don't mind getting somebody that has negatives on bunting because we're not going to bunt. I just don't want it to affect clutch on either side. Durability, arm strength, clutch, walks per nine.
And this is the only guy that we have to worry about. So I'm gonna just gonna put a whole bunch of bids in here and see if we can get any of these guys for cheap. All right, I'm not going to up it. We'll just see what we get. All right, now the fun part. Now the fun part. Blue was it? No, nope, that's right there. All right, here comes our ballpark. These are parks that I've made. I've made this one. I've made this one. That one. That one. You know that park. Music City. Brickyard. Dinger Park, which is just Music City at altitude. <laughs> this was the last couple of update update changes I made to the one in Oakland. These three right here are ones I downloaded. These are two different versions of the same park in Tampa Bay. This is like a futuristic one. And this is the park we're going to play in. I also have been working on a different version like this. But this is the one we're going to play in. Um, And somebody made this for the White Sox, too. But we're going to go with this one. And... All right. Home uniform. We got the blue. We are going to go... Yep, that underbill goes there. Edge, button top, hole stitches. Blue, we don't want hole stitch. No stripes. Shiny. And there we go.
go there. So that's the hat, and we're going to go shiny. So that's the hat. <clears throat> Jersey, basic, main color is going to be that. But we're going to do it as cream, so that's right. In between those two. button okay. that no pinstripes uh, piping Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, go out and look at what it is on Diamond Dynasty. Do I want shiny or I want screened? Screen makes that blue pop. I'm going to have to hop out and go look at the uniforms, but I want to save it at some point and then go back out. All right. Name. We're going to go with that. that blue That is that.
Here's a question. Do we want to go shiny helmet or matte helmet? I stay with shiny. All right, cleats. Striping is. Let's see, socks. All right, that's our that's our home look. And road.
That's our uniforms, boys and girls. <clears throat> All right, Utah Avengers. Everything's good. Holman Road, got the stadium. No, I don't want to save. All right, fine. Let me save this. And go back and check my Diamond Dynasty. One second. I just have regular blue names. I don't have a trim num trim. I think I'll stick with what I have now. And this one was the same way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put a, a two color. Okay. Staff, all right, so we're not bringing those guys back. We got several guys we've put money towards to try and get a manager. We rebranded the team. Rooker dropped some power against righties. All right. Other than his stamina, he's going up. Sears is going up. Estes, Spence. Boyle. Boyle's walks per nine is terrible. Junk. Again, all these guys went up. All right, so we drafted Manny Cordero. This guy, we have to edit and make him a reliever because his, his uh, stamina is too low. Anything under 70 really is too low. All right, we have 98 players, so we got to cut some players. Need seven catchers, two at each level and an extra in case of an injury. All right, Fiore is the guy that we just drafted. He's not going to wear number 40. Can't give him Reggie's old number. Can we give him that one? That's 12. I don't want 12. 13. There we go. All right. I'm going to move him to second base. He's going to be first base outfield as his secondary. So that's our future second baseman. Rosario, yeah, two years. Good. So Rosario will play for two years, and then he can go or he can get re-signed as a, as a uh, bench guy. And Fiore will be ready. So we're going to put him in double-A all year this year coming up, triple-A all year or most of the year the second year. And then he'll be good to go to start after that. Mayo went up 14 power against lefties. Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. 
Wilson's is 69, but I still think his, his hitting is too low, so I need to send him down. Rooker, SD went up. He's regressing. Got to get rid of him. Pete Crow went up. His defense got even better. Jeez. Emmanuel went down a little bit of hitting, but went up mostly across the board. Butler, contact down against lefties, up against righties, plus seven discipline like that. Steele went down, but his defense got better too. He's only 24. Veen went up. Cameron, plus 10 contact against lefties. Kurtz didn't go up. Soderstrom did. Nevin. Wow, plus 11 contact against lefties, plus 8 power against righties. Susak go up at all, just a little bit. All right, now we got to cut some players. So here, if you go into update trade uh, trade trading block and you hit square twice, it'll take you to this screen. <clears throat> at the very top, you need to budget five starting pitchers at MLB, AAA, AA. And I have four extra pitchers. You don't need four extra starting pitchers. So we can cut at least one or two extra starting pitchers. Probably one. But we have 29 relievers. So we actually have some relievers we can get rid of. And so you need to budget seven relievers at MLB, AAA, AA. So that leaves us with eight extra relievers. So we don't need eight extra relievers. Probably we could probably cut four of those. So four of those and one starting pitcher, that's five right there and that takes us down to the 93 we need um might even yeah five would be 93 so if we cut those other two and add a third base and a shortstop that gets us to six across the board with seven catchers so i probably should cut let me think what did i say if we cut f four relievers and a starter that's five If we cut six relievers, get a third and a short. Okay, so what we need to do is dump them right now before we re-sign them and spend money on them. So, starting pitchers. Anybody down here that's older that we have no intention of keeping? Is this guy signed? He's renewable. Probably this 24 that's a D. Will Johnston is going to get released. This guy's home runs per nine sucks. So we'll cut him. All right. Leads us with 17 starting pitchers. 5, 10, 15, and two extra. And we're probably going to cut another starting pitcher because we're going to assign at least one. <clears throat> Relievers. So we got down to eight. So we need to cut at least four. Seven, 21, eight, maybe five. You're gone. You're gone. These old guys out of there. Um, this is one of the guys we drafted. His potential is a B, so he went down. We'll just leave him there and let him cook. He'll he'll improve as we go. Um, TJ is going to get released. Don't need 35-year-old. Trevor Gott. Is he signed? No, he's arbitration. We could trade him away. Alexander, Adams. All right, we got some 30-year-olds that we can get rid of. Down to 26. Right, 93 right now. So we need to get rid of two more guys to add to third and short. And at least one more guy for starting pitcher. Junk. We'll just cut him. And then... 
That gets us a starting pitcher. Now we got to get rid of two more relievers. He's a C. He's a D. Hits per night is terrible. All right, you're gone. And you're a year older, but you got, and you're gone. All right. So it leaves us three extra relievers. And it leaves us one extra starter. So we need to go add a starter. And we need a third base, and we need a shortstop. Alexander's going to go so we can go back and add another reliever. So starting pitcher, relief pitcher, third base shortstop to give us to 93. And we got Sean Madrid as our manager. So that's good plate vision and discipline. Stamina takes a hit on one, but that's okay. We That's going to help our offense greatly, so that's fine. He was one of the cheaper ones, three million bucks, so that's fine. We're good. So now we need to spend time building this roster. All right, who are the free agents? As we knew, Tiasca Hernandez, Jack Flaherty, Willie Adamas, Freed, Bieber. I'm not going to do any of this stuff right now. I'm going to come in here. So qualifying offer was made. So that sucks because that takes Flaherty out. It takes Bieber out. I don't want to lose a draft pick. So he's 31 and he's 30. He's regressing. He's actually not regressing too bad. Trevor Williams is 32. Um, so Max Freed. I wanted one of these two, but... So do we go Burns? His strikeouts are down. Hits per nine dropped. Stamina dropped. Let's go with Max. He has no offers. So we're going to give him a three-year deal. And we're just going to sit this right in the middle and wait for other people to bid on him. Three years, 50 million. And we'll go with the club option. He wants more. What is that? 16. Let's drop it up. 17. All right. We'll throw that out there and see what anybody else does. Um, we need to look at relievers and see what we need. We don't need a closer, so I don't even have to look here. Catcher. We're okay with what we got for now. First base. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to throw Pete Alonzo in the middle of this order? Um, we've got three guys at first base. We just don't have a lot of, of uh, pop. He's 34. He's 30. Don't need second base because we already have a plan there. Third base, we don't need a starter. We just need somebody in the minors. Shortstop, he sucks against lefties. It's 29. He's got great clutch, though. There's really nothing out there. Five years, 62 and a half. What is that? Let's go five years, 63. What is that? I don't want to give him five years, but. 12.6. We have 118 million to play with. <laughs> Let's drop him down to three years. Three years, 38 mil. Gets us in the park. Three years with a team option. 38 mil. Doesn't like it. 
Follow option. Four years. All right, five years, so five and sixty two. Sixty two point five. That's what he wanted. Club. Go four years, 50 mil. Let's go 52. Four years, 52. Nope. He doesn't like that club option. That's the problem. All right. So four years, 50 mil. Uh, three years, 40 mil. All right, we'll see if that works. We're not going after Soto or Santander or any of those guys. Now what you need to do on the very first day of free agency, you got to come out here, go to the bottom of the list and look for anybody that especially that are in the 50s or higher and then look at their age and you want 18, 19, 20, 21, like this guy. This guy was in the draft, didn't get drafted or got cut because whatever. But you don't want a D potential, right? You want at least a C, A, or B is preferable. So we're just going to hit left trigger and cycle through these guys and see if there's any young pitchers out here that slip through after the draft that's not on anybody's roster that we can snake into our organization and cut somebody else to replace them. Too bad he's a D. There we go. Peter Finch. 21-year-old, 71-year-old C potential. I will take this guy and cut somebody else. So that, like, helps our improve our draft class. Like, it supplements. So we'll go cut another one of our pitchers. All right. And then you do the same thing with relievers. You want to see at least a C potential in the 20s. Preferably higher 20s. Or higher higher overall in the 20s. Higher overall, lower 20s. He's a D. This is a great way to backfill your minor leagues with extra talent outside of the draft, and you don't have to spend any money on them. Not see anybody else. Okay. Closer, same way. Young guys in their 20s, you can always move them to relief pitcher. You don't have to leave them as a closer. It actually drops their overall and gives them room to grow. Okay. Same thing, catcher. See, he's a 21-year-old catcher. It's A potential, but he's only 45 overall. If he was 18, I might consider taking him, but not at 21. But this guy's a C potential, can't hit. He's all glove. He can hit, but he can't field. You could sign him and move him to first base or something. All right, 23-year-old C potential is a 60. His vision, discipline, and clutch are terrible. His durability is terrible. He's got good power against lefties. He's got too many holes, so we're not going to mess with him. But some of these positions are really hard to find good players so this is a good way to come in here and mine for guys that slip through the draft. Once you get to these positions, you want to make sure they're they're uh, all right. Turn the fan off. You can get them hopefully low twenties, age early or high, low sixties and up, and low age. I'm trouble speaking because I'm just flipping through while I'm trying to talk. Never a good idea. No one there. How about second base? Really want to get 18, 19 year old guys if you can. All right. He's 18. He's 52 overall, and he's an A potential. Good defense. We'll take him and just let him develop. And we'll cut somebody else. 
That's the shit you're looking for. I'd rather his overall was higher, but... Richie Black, I'll take you. All right, now we got to go to offers. All right. So that's the shortstop. That's the third base. Pitcher. Those were the three guys, right? How many did we need? We need four. Four. All right. Need four guys. We've got five offers. So I just need to cut another, probably center fielder. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Actually, we're going to cut Johnny Butler. And we sign that center fielder. We'll kick him over to right field. Um, so that gives us that. So we need five guys to sign. We'll give us a full roster. And we have five guys on here. All right. Now we got to go through the top and see if there's anybody that we really... Man, T. Oscar is regressing... He's the kind of dude we want, though, especially to play left field. They want to pay him about $9 million a year for two years. All right, we'll come back to him. Offer to Damas. We don't need third base. We got that. Don't need second base. First base would be nice, but they only want to pay $12 million a year for Alonzo. Yeah. He's 35, 32, 29. It's not much better than what we got. He's better defensively than Langleyers. Langleyers has got a better contract. Um, no offer there. He's thirty eight. Jesus. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to live with the relievers that we have, to be honest. Hey, Walker Buehler. All right. Now, the tender. Don't just hit renew contract. Don't do it. You're going to spend more money than you need to because you're going to pay 750000 when you don't need to. And I'll show you why you don't need to. All right. He's renewable. We're going to go two years. And we're going to crank this down until it just turns green on that wheel. So that's 600000 So I just saved $300,000. Right? 150000 a year. By not giving him seven fifty. And when you have a contract situation like we do. Where we can't offer ridiculous money you need to 
Shave every dime off. Another one, 600,000. We're only going to go one year. And we're not going to try and send these guys through their arbitration years because they might not stick around. So we do not want to oversign if we don't have to. Two years. Because when we get to arbitration, if we can't afford them, we'll just trade them. We're going we're gonna to play this like a uh, small market team, but try to be smart about it and spend where we can to really help bridge gaps between veterans and rookies. See, these guys are all going to take this 600000 And some of these guys, you'll only have to pay them 60000 instead. So now you just saved 700000 rather than just, you know, doing the renew contract automatically. I'm going to do this guy, do him cheap so he signed and we can trade him away anytime we want to. Get these guys, all these guys through their renewable years to arbitration. Look at this guy. He's going to be 120. Only 60,000 a year as opposed to the other. So, anyway, this is how you manipulate contracts to save nickels and dimes that actually help you spend money on the guys you want to spend it on instead of overspending. And now I'm screwed because I'm paying 700,000 instead of 750 instead of 600. So, you know. 150,000 all it takes is 10 of those guys. Now it's 1.5 million. You do 20 of those guys. Now it's $3 million. $3 million is going to be, you know, a good major league bat. That's, you know, got some, some issues, but you know, they can platoon and you wouldn't be able to do it because you just clicked renew contract. So don't just renew contract I'm telling you right now. Nickel and dime as much as you can. And it doesn't matter what your salary cap is. Even if I had the Yankees or the Mets, I would do the exact same thing. This guy's going to go up to the major leagues this year, that Cole Irvin. Seven sixty. I'm gonna drop that to six hundred. Boom. See, just like that. And these guys, you gotta do the same thing. You gotta watch. You can't just slam the button because sometimes it tricks you. I'm paying more for some of these guys because they're a little bit older and they're, they're like, um, they're probably on a 40 man roster and they're guys that get called up for injuries.
some of these lower overall guys that I'm signing to bigger contracts, we're going to trade those guys away anyway. All right. Arbitration. I just want to give you a one-year deal. I don't want to overpay for you. We'll go 1.6. He should take that. Um, Andujar. Again, one year. Let somebody else deal with him. We're trading got away too. I just want to get him signed. All right, forty man roster. We have thirty seven, so we have a total of six outfielders, three first, three third, two catcher, one closer, seven starting pitchers, eleven relievers. So, Waldachuk, Cole, Wynn, Klein, Elliott, Mazzotti. Who do I not want to lose out of that group? Colwyn. It's down here. Yeah, we don't want to lose a relief. Don't want to lose the reliever. We have extra, but we're going to get rid of one. Waldachuk, I don't care if he goes. Will Klein, I don't care if he goes. And Clark Elliott. Cameron can play center. Yeah, I'll add you. All right, leaves one spot for the Rule 5 draft. Let me save. November 5th, election day. It's my dad's birthday. It's going to be 77. All right, 40 man's picked, arbitration. We're just offering them contracts, and we'll offer arbitration when it gets to the deadline to do that. I don't want to offer them now, because when you offer them arbitration, then you can't trade them. <laughs> all right, so these guys will all start signing really fast. Trade block. Stroman, Pagan, Barnes, Peralta. Nobody we want. All right. Sim one day. Jeff Hoffman signs with the Cardinals. All right. So we signed that free agent third baseman. We signed that free agent center fielder. All the re-signings are guys that we um, went through and gave them, you know, some lower stuff. Carlos Perez avoided arbitration. So we have three guys. Where was Ferguson? He became a free agent. I was, no, was it Caleb Ferguson? No, it was Scott Alexander. All right, so we need a lefty in the pen. Doesn't strike anybody out. It's got good other numbers.
All right, that jumps us up on him. That would fill the lefty spot for the guy we just lost. Arbitration list is getting smaller. You know what? Before we sign Gott, let's try and trade him away. See what we can get for Gott. Get for Gott. And while that's doing, Hunter Henry, Wandale, Madison, HN's doing well. CD's not doing great. We're still not going to win this week. Fuck, I got screwed last week. Royally screwed last week. I'm so not happy. We can get Wander Suaro. We get one year older, better potential, and a higher overall. No, we don't want Xander Bogarts because his contract is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> no, don't want Bogarts. He's arbitration as well. Didn't pitch last year. It's better than got. Man, we can get something else too. What else? Yeah, I think he'd give us Ben Joyce. Chaz McCormick. No. 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 I'll do it straight up. Yeah, considerably less. We'll go 700 on him. All right. Now, can we trade Andohar? Kevin Sheets wouldn't be terrible. Nick Sandlin. Hey, we could get Nick from the Guardians. Remember him from the Cardinals? Only 28 years old. Not opposed to that at all. We didn't have to give me the other guy. We just do it straight up. Unless they want to give us a starting pitcher. Let's go look at... The Guardians have 
just a shit ton of starting pitchers, and they just drafted this dude. Wow, they really want to trade a Salmon. Hey, we'll do it. We'll do it. All right. So now we need to trade a reliever for a left fielder. How about Austin Adams. So they re-signed Teoscar, two years at ten million. Trevor Larnock. Jacob Milton. 24 years old. Oh. Dominic Canzone. He's 27. Can hit righties. Let's just do it this way. Uh, 
Oscar Colos. He's 26. Any other right fielders we can shift over to left? Okay, you're not going to trade him. You're not going to trade him. Soderstrom, Sears, Ruiz, Spence, Noda, Estes. I don't want to trade any of that. All right. Marte. Last year, his deal. Solaire is terrible defensively. Um, nobody wants this guy. Very frustrating. All right, let's not trade him then. We're at 90, right? And we've got four guys there. Probably not going to get them all, so. All right, let's go a couple of days at a time here. All right, we got a bunch of our guys signed. We did get Yarborough, 
All right, so that replaced that left-handed reliever. So we have two guys before we have to clear another spot. We'll just offer him more and he'll sign. So if that's the case, then let me, let's do this. Let's trade. Wall to check and Adams. Let's see what we get. So lazy, huh? Kalen Culpepper. Arkady. Griffin Canning. Counter Phillips on the Reds wouldn't be bad. Halfway young. Man. Not finding anything I like. <clears throat> Mickey Moniac. Joe Adele's a dude we need to trade for. Let's do it. In division trade. Let's do it. All right, now well, let's go look and see what we have. 
15 starters, and we got two guys we can add. 24 relievers, it leaves you with three. Seven there. Six, six, six. Five, five. So we need to trade a center fielder. I'm going to move Adele to left field. Okay, good. Six, 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 seven, five. So we've got, we need another left field. Well, we need another outfielder, period. So. And this guy doesn't want to sign. 80. We should be able to get freed in Adamas, though, too. All right, we got the pitcher. Sign them. Okay, good, good, good. That's the guy we just signed right there. We'll just drop him and we might leave him in double A and let him get a little bit better, easier. We'll adjust all of this when we're done. So, it's 21, 3. If we can trade a reliever for an outfielder.
Brandon Nimmo. It's a lot of contract. It's 19 mil. We can afford it. Except it's seven more years. They want Tommy White to get Jared Kelnick. Not great defensively, not a lot of speeds, just all bat. We already have this guy. See if they'll take a different reliever. They'll take the 33-year-old dude that we just got, that we haven't signed. So basically, it's Jared Kelnick for Tommy White. And Kelnick's 25 years old, and he can hit righties, and he has great clutch. Yeah, since I have Mayo already on the team, I'm going to do this trade. So we have 90 players, two guys here, we can add a player. So I can move Adele back to right field. I need to sign a third baseman. Minor league third baseman.
All right, we're getting there. Making progress, making progress. Do we have arbitration we got to deal with? Joe Adele. Uh, let's just sign him to a one-year deal because I'm not sure if I want to keep him or not. I'll give him what he's asking for. Fender contracts. He's renewable. That makes it even better. He's renewable for one year. So we'll just renew him for a year and see how he plays. Sandlin's the same way. Renewable. 960. What if he wants two years? He wants 1.5. Give him 1.2. Overpay this year. All right. We're getting there. And don't have to add anybody, so we're good. All right. We're good there. We got too many guys in the 40, man. That was the next thing we were going to have to deal with. And that means Hogan Harris is going to come off the 40, man. And Salinas is going to come off the 40, man. And that way we can, uh, they're going to be out there as free agents, so somebody might steal them. And we have to offer him. Key 800,000. He'll sign the contract off and we just gave him. So now we're down to just three guys. We're almost done signing the guys that were already on our team. Sandlin resigned. Kurtz. Harris. That third baseman signed. We got Kelnick. So they're at five years, 65 for Adamus. No one's in our even our ballpark for Freed. How many lefties will we have in our rotation? Right. Left. Right. Right. Yeah. So two lefties and there we go. So what's this? This is final day. Okay. We signed Willie Adamas. There we go. Was our new starting shortstop. Thirteen point three for three years. Middle of the uh, order bat means uh, Jacob Wilson's going back to AAA to start and play and get better. And Tristan Gray, what else can you play? First, second, third. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone. So, all right, let me save. I've done it for a bit. Max Freed, Soto, just like with our Cardinals franchise, Soto to the Pirates. Now, if 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 they also got Alonzo, I'm just going to laugh. They paid him 35 mil a year. Tyler O'Neill to the Giants. Alonzo could go to Detroit. All right. Max Freed still looks like he's going to come to us. All right. Trade block hasn't changed. Adele signs. So we don't go to arbitration. Okay. All the contracts tendered. Yep, we're good. And we get Max Freed. All right, just picked up two guys in the mid, mid to high air 80s. Team got better, so we got a number one and a number two. And that means uh, 
Spence is going to be fighting it out with Boyle. Maybe JT Ginn. We got a fifth spot that we can do something with. I think Joey's going to be decent long term. JP's going to be a free agent soon. And he's got three more years, so he'll be here until he's ready to leave. Garcia's got three more years. Freed's got three three years. So we've got these guys for three years. Spence will be here. So we're gonna we're gonna rock it with these guys for a little bit. Um, and Spence may or may not, he's going to be around Estes. So we got a couple of spots that we could improve if we wanted to, but what I really like to do is get a stud, um, a stud in here through the draft. That would be very helpful. So the next thing we need to worry about is a catcher. Who's going to play first base because Kurtz is getting there soon. He can uh, improve his power. He's going to be our future second baseman. Current future third baseman. Future shortstop, but he's going to he's gonna hold it down for three. Rooker we've got for three more years. So we've got the next three years, we've got a good core group of guys we're going to go with. So our goal is just to make the playoffs, right? Do we sign SD for? He's got one year. He's got arbitration. We could always trade him if we needed to. He's a great He's got great clutch, and he's got great speed and everything. He can play multiple positions, so he's a good utility. I'm going to keep him. Kelnick, I'm hoping we can develop him into a power-hitting outfielder, and he's got good defense. He could always move to right field and move Butler to left. Adele gives us some power and speed off the bench. And Pete Crow's our long-term. we got some trade pieces with Black and Rodriguez. So, yeah. Teams getting there. It's not going to be, you know, an all-star team, but yeah, Tom, we can, we can have fun. Let this team grow. All right, I got to fix my forty man again. <sighs> Colt Win, JT Ginn, Tyler Ferguson. <laughs> he played well though he's only 25 someone will snag him if we let him go probably snag Nick Allen too but I would rather chance him Christian Walker to the Mets. So that means Alonzo didn't go back. And Allen goes through waivers, so that's good. Flaherty did not take the qualifying offer, but that still means you're going to lose a draft pick if you sign him. Corbin Burns is being underpaid. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could go out here and snag Corbin Burns, too. We'd have Freed and Burns. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want? Should I even bother going for Cor Corbin? It's not like we don't have the money. <laughs> um, we have $87 million to play with. And we basically have a three-year window with all these guys. That would take care of our fifth starter problem. We'd have... Freed, Garcia, Burns. Um, Sears and one of these guys. I mean, how aggressive should I be? You guys help me out. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me to... Uh, Take a shot at Burns. He is 30 years old, so he's not 35. He 
He's going down in his overall, so he's not going to get any better. Oh. We could we could do the uh, the weird thing and offer him a one year deal. How much would it take for one year? Sixteen point nine. We could actually get away with offering him 14 and a half. I mean, how good do we want to be right away? Thirteen point six would get it done. What is that offer? I'm too lazy to do the math in my head. It's eleven point five. We could offer him twelve mil a year. That would get us through three seasons, and after that, we got a bunch of guys that become free agents. Hopefully, by then, we've gotten enough. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? What the hell? All right, where are we picking? We have the seventh pick right now. Five and a half percent chance to get the number one pick. Top three would be good. I could take top three. We were picked five last time. And we dropped to eighth because the Tigers went up and the fucking Diamondbacks go up seven. So we're going to pick eighth. So we're in the top ten. That'll make it easy for us to... We'll probably end up getting a pitcher, to be honest with you. All right, rule five draft. Do we have... Do we even have room? No, we don't have room. Kelnick took the contract. Nobody got taken. All right, that offer came off the board because we have too many players. So, we have too many shortstops. All right. Luis de Leon. He's so lazy. He's too old.
The lefty. All right, we'll do it. Jeter Downs and Cade Morris. <clears throat> that clears the roster spot. And now we can go after Corbin Burns. What the hell? Alonzo to the Phillies. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now Cleveland, who does not need Corbin Burns, jumps in. All right, fine, fuck you. We front loaded it because we have plenty of money before we have to pay any of our other guys. Come on, show me Burns. Flaherty to the Rangers. Padres get involved. There we go. Corbin Burns is an Avenger. He's probably going back to AAA and he'll pitch in the majors because he's older. Joe Boyle will go. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. We're done. We're done with free agency. Again, 40-man roster. I think we have too many relievers. All right, Scooble, Cease, Fromber. Any other trades? Cardinals got Vance Honeycutt for Quinn Matthews. We would never trade Quinn Matthews for Vance Honeycutt because we need the starting pitching worse. That was a terrible trade for the Cardinals. The White Sox get Luis Angel Acuna. Mariners get Tristan Cassis. I wish there was a way to undo that trade. Honeycutt and Matthews. Because if you look at the Cardinals. Yeah, it's because they signed Walker Bueller. So, yeah, let's sign Walker Bueller and then trade a 24-year-old that's that good. What does it take to get him? Psst, nothing. <laughs> nothing. 
Nothing. Okay, Cole Wynn, we're just going to renew your contract. That's taken care of. And yeah, so this has us first in left field because we have Kelnick and Rooker. Um, it says we need help at starting pitcher, which we know, and we need help at third base, which I disagree with. So, all right, this team is much better. All right, this will take us to spring training. Bam. And against righties, that is going to be Kelnick. And that's not going to be you. That's going to be you. And you're Willie Adamas. Soderstrom, Nevin, Noda. Let's see how Soderstrom does instead. Mayo, McCann, Butler, Rooker. All right. We are going there. Last guy there. Lyleers. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll go with that. All right, center field. That's fine. That's fine. 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 Senzel and left. That's okay. Mayo, Tyler Nevin, Jacob Wilson. Nope. You're Adamas. Oh, fucking shoulder. Uh, let's see. So that, 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 that. Senzel. Mayo. Nevin's got to come up ahead of you guys. In fact, he's got to go all the way up to there. Sucks to have him at bat in ninth, but that's the way it's going to be. And pitching rotation, we've got... That Boyle Yarbrough, Sandlin. Man, we got a shit ton of relievers now. Means we can make some deals. Ton of relievers. Okay. Let's check our scouts to make sure they didn't leave. Nope, they're still there. No one better. Anybody higher than 94 Discovery? He's 94. That's a little bit too high. All right, so we're good there. No trade blocks. Yeah, okay. Top prospects. Jackson Holiday, Bazana. That's the guy we passed on and didn't draft. Pablo Aguilar. That's just because he's an A. It's not because he's a real prospect. Kurtz is our real number one. He's our number two. <clears throat> and after that, it's just a jumbled mess. So. And PPI. Langoliers again. 
depending on how first base plays out, we may bring up Kurtz. We'll see. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go through spring training. We'll do a couple of player locks with, with like Kelnick and Adamas. And we'll just get through spring training quick. We'll end the stream. I'll fix the MLB roster, triple and double A rosters, and get all that ready so that next time when we're ready to play, um, here, let me do this. I want to see who we're going to play. So this is how you do that. All right. So now we're going to save this. Now we're going to save backup. Okay. We're going to exit out. We're going to load the backup. We're not going to... Save. Damn it. There we are. Back up. So all I'm going to do now is just sim spring training to see what our opening day looks like. <clears throat> And then we'll actually go through this. So we will start next stream <clears throat> opening day, 1235 start against the Baltimore Orioles, right? Yeah, we're going to host the Orioles for four games. And then we have the White Sox. Having this gray and blue like that really does not help at all. It should be it should be one of the other colors, like the gold. Anyway, so yeah. Look, we got the Cardinals in there. We got the Cubs. Seattle. So, okay, good, good, good. So, let's exit out of this. Go back in, load the real file. So we have Baltimore on opening day. So that's good. How do you like those baby blues? They look good. You like that? And we could sign contract extensions if we wanted to. Not going to. He's arbitration. So depending on how that goes, maybe after the All-Star break, we try to resign him. He's arbitration. Adele's arbitration. Zach Jackson is arbitration. Sinzel is a free agent. Okay. All right. Logan Gilbert. Let's do Kelnick right now. Our very first partial game with the Utah Avengers spring training against the Mariners. Well, that's loading up. How's my team doing? Oh, I'm losing by 28. Bills killed me today. The quarterbacks aren't doing shit. Dak and CD aren't killing me. That's fine. Madison hasn't done a damn thing. Hunter Henry's done okay. Wandale's done it. Jalen Waddle has no yards. King Waddle and T. Higgins are killing me. At least H. Han's doing what he's supposed to do. Hey, as I yell at him, he catches a pass for 12 yards. I like those uniforms, guys. Speak up. I like that gold trim on there. Makes that, it really pops with the dark blue and the sky blue.
There we go. Base hit. Jared Kelnick. Newest. New, one of the newest Utah Avengers. Come on, Rooker. All right, scoring position. Come on, Larry Butler. Nope, out of first. Ah, terrible swing. Fucking terrible. Yeah, <laughs> almost beat it out. All right. Man scoring position, two down. Let's see if we can put this in play somewhere. Get through, get through. That'll be a field hit. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, Rooker. Should get pitches to hit with Kelnick with Rooker batting behind him, so... Pinch hit for him. Okay. You know, we got the win. Kelnick, two hits. Tyler Nevin got a hit. Harris hit. Butler, Sinzel, Clark Elliott played short. Hit three run homer. Eight run, eighth inning. Wow. Bieber goes to the Dodgers. Just who they needed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game. Let's do uh, Adamas. And we'll get our first game with our home jerseys on. Gonna beat it out. Is that Vladdy? Vladdy's playing first base. Stand up, stand up. For Arizona. 
They replaced Christian Walker with Vladdy. Wow. I wonder what that trade was. <clears throat> all right, Tyler. I would not mind having you up on the majors all year this year. Give us a third catcher. Back. Safe. There we go. Almost messed that up. Butler with a home run. I think that's his second of the game. Yeah, stay back and see it. through yep that's a hit that's his second infield hit of the day all right kobe all right hoping our clutch Kicks in and helps us out. Yeah, 87 clutch. So he needs to bat with runners in scoring position against lefties because he really does not have good contact against lefties. And he proves it right there. That's a tank. All right. Our first user home run with the uh, Avengers. Willie Adamas. Bam. I'm going to get a picture of his follow through. I flinched. Stop flinching. Flincher, stop flinching. Hey, Waddle. I yelled at him. He had nothing. He had done nothing all day, and now he caught a touchdown pass. All right. I think I got about nine minutes. I'm going to take it up to three o'clock so I can watch the three o'clock football games. Ooh, Estes is out one to two months with a broken wrist. Well, that will solve... Uh, That'll solve our number five. So we got one, two, three, four, and Mitch Spence is going to be our fifth starter. Joe Boyle's not ready. JT Ginn hasn't. So let's go in here. Spence there.
All right, we're 17 and 9. We've scored 150 runs. I think we improved the offense, guys. <laughs> Rosario is doing what I expected him to do. Adamas hitting 351. Look at McCann, Mayo, Rooker, Butler. Kelnick's not doing anything. Burns is shoving. And we went 18 and 13. Fifth best record in the Cactus League. Wow. All right, I'm going to save it here and off camera. I will fix our rosters and I'll show you that next stream um, what our team looks like. But there we go. Our rank jumped because we fixed, fixed our starting pitching. <laughs> and adding Adamas and Kelnick to the lineup doesn't hurt either. So, all right. We got this team set up basically um, for a three-year run. Freed, Burns, Adamas, Garcia, Rooker, Langoliers, Castro, a bunch of these other guys. So, yeah, the the uh, top of our payroll is going to be here for three years. We didn't pay. We have 17 millions at most we paid. After that, it drops to two guys making 13. So prior to that, we had no one on the team making any money. Rooker is making three mil a year with that contact and power. Shit, he could be our he could be our solution at first base if we wanted to. We could just stick him at first base. So I got to remember that we get to the trade deadline, and we're having trouble with anybody playing with his shit at first base. We can trade for a DH type guy. And uh, put Rooker at first, and by DH type guy, <clears throat> I'm looking at um, like Marcelo Zuna, um, Reese Hoskins could be a uh, possibility. Um, the contract is so terrible. Okay, yeah, Profar. Not adding trout. Um, where the hell is he? Um, fuck, he just went to the Angels. Um,
Solaire. Let me see where he's at. Probably not the right spelling. Where the fuck is he? Let's do this. Player search, and we'll go. Attribute is power. Where did he go? He didn't retire, did he? Let's do it this way. I know he's a right fielder. There he is. We could get Solaire and play him at DH. So the Braves have both Solaire and Ozuna. So we could we could go get a DH type guy from them. So anyway, so yay, you guys got to see. Um, you guys got to see us finish off the first year, make a bunch of uh, moves. Signing two older starting pitchers to uh, improve the staff, which was underwhelming. Get a new shortstop that's actually going to hit. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully our first round pick does really well at double A all year. And we can move him to triple A. Does really well at triple A. And in that third year, <clears throat> we will have him uh, as our starting second baseman. So we can we can play him for at least two years, right? So. Cooper Rush. Why is Cooper Rush playing? Did Brett Dak get hurt or did he get... Uh, oh, he had a hamstring injury. That's helpful. We're still not going to win. Tyler Bass made a 61-yard field goal with five seconds left. Holy shit. <laughs> 61 yards. Fuck. All right. Well, I'm going to head on out of here and go watch some football. So uh, just watch Discord, and I'll let you guys know in... Uh, when we're going to start the first real season, but I'm ready for that. And uh, we'll go much slower. We'll go a month at a time and enjoy some gameplay and all that good stuff. So who can we uh, go raid? Injected Ronin's got EA College Sports. Tight spot, you got WWE. Let me just send you over to a tight spot. Send you, I'll, I'll, I'll raid you, Tice, but I'll send you in there. I'm not going to stick around real long because I want to, I need to eat something and I need to, uh, I need to uh, watch football. So get that raid, head on over to Tight Spot, do some, some football. Thank you guys. Appreciate everybody that was here today. And uh, I will catch you soon. Look at that. 976 hours of MLB this year. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. I'll see you for opening day the next time we go live. And uh, I hate fantasy sports. So take care, guys. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.